Located on the southern tip of the Arabian Peninsula, Oman is at the confluence of the Persian Gulf and the Arabian Sea. With more than 3,000 kilometers of coastline, Oman's location has long made it a center of trade between Europe, Africa, and India. So Oman is really famous in the ancient past for being a crossroads of trade and interaction that connected places like the Indus Valley and what is today Pakistan with the Gulf region, including places like Kuwait, Iraq, and the area that we refer to as Mesopotamia. Oman, or Majan as it was then called, enjoyed prosperity in pre-Islamic times through the trading of copper. A testament to this maritime culture can be found in the National Museum in the capital, Muscat. Dozens of documents show communications between the Omanis and other civilizations. Oman's strategic location has made it a crossroads of cultural exchange for 5,000 years. If you are engaged in international trade for hundreds, or in this case, thousands of years of history, it's part of your tradition that you reach out, that you get along with other cultures, other religions, uh, other races and ethnicities. So I think that begins to embed itself in the culture. Its geographic location at the bottom of the Arabian Peninsula and its history of outreach to the region uh, makes it an outward-looking country, makes the Omani people uh, a very diverse and a very welcoming uh, people because of their historical experience around the region. When Sultan Qaboos bin Said took power in 1970, he not only modernized the country, but he insisted on building a society that rejected extremism and fanaticism. He wanted a country where Islam was a beacon of peace and tolerance. He was opposed to attempts to twist Islam for political gain. Today, throughout the Sultanate, there are mosques from several branches of Islam, churches, and Hindu and Sikh temples. Since uh, the time of Sultan Qaboos when Oman began uh, becoming more active regionally and even globally, Sultan Qaboos had a, a message or an effort uh, towards trying to foster understanding uh, among the peoples of the region uh, and even more broadly. And the point we see now is taking these sort of historical um, traits and cultural traditions and promoting them on the international scene. After all the political changes the country has been through, today it has friendly relations with all Middle Eastern countries. This position of relative neutrality enabled Oman to serve as a peacemaker in regional disputes. During the last decade, however, political crises, oppression, violence and Islamist extremism have claimed millions of victims around the world. So, in 2010, Oman launched an initiative a traveling exhibition called Tolerance, Understanding, Coexistence, Oman's Message of Islam. معرض رسالة الإسلام لم تكن مجرد فكرة وإنما كانت استمرارا لنهج عماني عريق منذ مئات السنين هذا النهج القائم على التواصل الحضاري و صنع صداقات مع كافة الشعوب والأمم والدول والحضارات. The exhibition consisted of Islamic-inspired artwork, calligraphy, and a live sand art performance. The display also featured panels offering details from Omani life, ranging from the introduction of Islam to the country, women's role in politics, to societal traditions like funeral customs and birthrights. From 2010 to 2019, the exhibition traveled to more than 35 countries and was translated into 25 languages. From journalists to politicians, academics to tourists, more than 11 million visitors saw the exhibition. In June 2014, it was presented at the World Cup in Brazil and at the UN headquarters in New York. In 2015 and 2018, UNESCO nominated it for a Peace Prize. هذا الرد الفعل من من قبل الجمهور معرفة فهم العلاقات الإنسانية وكيف تبنى هذه العلاقات الإنسانية وأن التواصل المباشر بين الأمم والشعوب والأديان والثقافات كفيل بمحو كل الصور النمطية المعروفة عن شخص ما أو دين ما أو ثقافة ما أو دولة ما 
to put together exhibits such as the one uh, that Oman did and, and sent around the world uh, as a way to try to foster better understanding uh, on the part of foreign publics uh, about Oman, what kind of country it is, and what role it plays. I think the exhibit had that impact. I think it was very successful. Uh, I think it really did educate a lot of foreign publics, a lot of people in foreign countries. Oman has done a wonderful job of presenting how a particular local Arab Islamic culture uh, can establish itself as a major player in a global vision through its outreach in arts and humanities and culture. To share these values, Oman joined the rest of the world in marking the International Day for Tolerance, which falls every year on November 16th. During the event, Sultan Qaboos's declaration on united human values was unveiled. The project involves improving lives, adopting a global system of ethics, and nurturing spiritual values. A ceremony was held in Jakarta. The Sultanate was proud to take part in this celebration, which embodies respect, tolerance, as well as the rejection of all forms of extremism and violence. When Sultan Qaboos bin Said died, his cousin, Sultan Haitham bin Tariq, became the new Sultan. His first speech spoke of a path of peace and coexistence. It was linked to the past, a vision of Oman that began centuries ago, is still relevant today, and will continue for years to come. بقيم القيم الإنسانية المشتركة والمهتمة بالتواصل بين البشر والمهتمة بنشر ثقافة السلام فكان هذا أحد الآثار المباشرة لهذا المشروع ناهيك عن الآثار غير المباشرة بالتعريف بعمان والثقافة العمانية والتاريخ العريق لعمان في العالم وأيضا تصحيح الصورة عن الإسلام ويعني ربطه بالإرهاب وبالتطرف وبالعنف Oman plays a critically important role in the world in serving as a broker of dialogue between different adversaries and world powers. I'm hoping that other countries will follow their model. I think also they may be uniquely positioned to make the transition out of the age of petroleum into whatever is going to come next. And that kind of leadership is going to be extremely important throughout the Gulf region and throughout the Arab world.